Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. Now, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Unreal Engine 5.3's displacement in the actual material. Now, this feature was removed in Unreal Engine 5, and people have been asking for something similar like this. Now, again, this is nothing new. This was in the 5.3 uh, preview beta so it's been out for a while but since 5.3 was officially released yesterday it should be a little bit better although although they did say that it's still very highly experimental now you can displace the actual mesh like i've made a video about here on the channel before i think like last year but this method is a little bit different because it lets you actually displace in the material itself first things first you need to go to your project because right now you actually have to input this command in the .ini file so i'll show you that real quick in here there is a default engine .ini if you just type in the command straight right in the editor it's not going to work so i'll minimize this right here and then under the render settings i'll just place it here it's r dot nanite dot allow tessellation and that's with two s e l l a t I O N allow tessellation equals one and save that and then restart your engine. But I already have it open here, so it's already good to go. And in our project here, I have a simple static mesh and we have four textures and a material. Now, in another way, you know that this is working is if you open up a material, you can find that we have a displacement node here now. So we have four textures in here and I'll just quickly assign everybody. All right, so what we have here is our material. We have an albedo, roughness, normal, and we have a displacement. If I click on the actual output node right here and minimize this so we can see, right now I have it off. Let's make sure that the static mesh is actually set to nanite first, which it is. I'm gonna set this node right here, and in the details panel, you will see this option called displacement, magnitude, and center. Now, what this is going to do is success is going to amplify that displacement in that material so first let's go ahead and enter our second command which is r dot nanite dot tessellation and then one and that's going to turn on the tessellation so we needed two commands that's one of them that you can just go ahead and enter in here and in the magnitude now i'm gonna go crazy with this with 20 and you're gonna see what that's going to do and that is going to displace obviously a little bit too much so let me go with 10 i'll cut this in half and what we'll do next is i'm going to go to the level blueprint because i set up a quick command right here so when i press v it's going to turn off and on the tessellation so i can show you this kind of like in game if you will now i had to set the scalability to high because when i had this level open it was 5.2 and it had DLSS3. That's why I was able to do in cinematics. But right now I don't have but right now I don't have DLSS3 in this one. So he's gonna have to set it to high. So here's our gangster king, and here we go. So when I press this V first, it's gonna turn everything off. And if I press it again, it's gonna turn it on. And you can automatically see the difference. This right here just looks so much better. It, it, displacement just makes everything look more realistic but yeah that's pretty much it that is how you use the new displacement in unreal engine 5.3 again this is pretty much experimental at this point but it's still super cool to see this come back that being said that's pretty much it for this video if you have any questions let me know and please do like and subscribe to the channel i'm trying to reach 100,000 subscribers this year and let's go ahead and make that happen peace out